Hello friends, in this video I'll explain you how to operate My Class Campus mobile app. So as you open the app dashboard, you will see the screen. At the top you will find your school name and this is a sliding banner where your school images you can upload. There is an edit button, you can add new images from here as well. Now here general is a section which will be visible to parents as well so the same app is being used by students or parents so whenever as an admin you or your faculty members update something parents will, will receive the notification in about us section there will be detailed info about your school you can edit that from the edit button this contact us and feedback are the option through which parents can send feedback to the institute or school authority then there is important uh, module is like calendar so whatever communication happened during this particular month in different classrooms or batches all the records will be visible here you as an admin can see communication done in particular class or batch as well now here is a plus button so you can take all of these actions the same action bar is available in this activity tab so all the action bars are directly available in this activity tab and then at the bottom there is analysis tab so as an admin or owner you can see a lot of analysis there the next is gallery so throughout the year whatever activities you are doing in your campus or school or institute you can create photograph albums this album can be seen by parents and students in their own smartphone so this will bring a lot of connectivity and communicational efficiency. In classroom tab, you will be able to see all the classes or batches created. In each classroom, there are three things like discussion forum, live quizzing mechanism and library. So in this library, you can create multiple folders and upload different materials. Student can access those materials for their reading purpose. In quiz, if you are up launching any MCQ based quiz, student can attend it there. And in discussion forum, you can post discussions and student can participate in the discussions. So that is how classroom module is working out. Even you can see list of students with their mobile number, parents mobile number. You can keep the settings where these numbers are visible only to you as an admin. No, any other person can see that. Direct call option is also there to call the parents. Then this add user. So add user button is only for the admin, not for students, parents or other users. So directly from here only you can add a student in your system and even you can select in which class or batch you want to add them. So previously you need to go to web based admin panel, but now you can do it through app as well. Library and books is like if you are using our library management system then students or parents can see which books are available and all. Now go to action activity tab for taking different actions. So let's say you want to send any notice. Simply keep the title, description and in which class you want to circulate. You can select the subject or class and here audience selection is also done automatically you can untick and then you if you want to send text message then you can keep it yes then there is don't send sms to app users so the, those users who are using app will receive notification in mobile app here you can do some attachments as well you can publish now or you can do it for future as well same way this attendance take attendance so let's say you want to conduct an attendance of any particular class just select the date and time and subject you you or you want to take off the attendance of and faculty simply just mark it and those who are absent you just keep them as a and as you submit you can send SMS to parent and submit so this way easily you can mark attendance same way exam marks you can directly send to the parents they will receive post notification same way if there is any announcement or news 
you can do that in this account it is not active otherwise you can access that as well same way event so if there is an event happening in future date like yet let's say you are planning an event on 14th you can schedule that as well you can pre-notify like uh, one hour or one day or 15 minutes before the event so that way parents will receive a reminder notification in their mobile app you can even notify through text message as well and then there is publish later button so let's say you want to publish this event 5 p.m. today evening then you can schedule that so that at that time it will be notified to the audience same way you can send have homework as well you can send it to particular class you can select then take fee so let's say uh, you are not in front of a computer and a student is coming to pay fee you can simply search a name of the student or you can directly take the fee from this pay fee button so here the option of payment and how much amount is paid and sms and take fee as you do this it will notify to parents with the sms or they can see it in their phone app about this payment so that way easily you can take the fees create target see target is like let's say you are giving an assignment to us to a class and you want to get it completed on particular date and time then you can schedule that so parents uh, also will be aware about the assignments or any task given to the students and at the end of the task you can uh, uh, mark them like uh, completed in uh, how partially completed or incomplete I'll show that as well in the calendar then exam scheduler so let's say you are planning weekly exams or monthly exams and you can create those exams from here directly and if the exam is already done then you can declare the result from the green declare button so here you can fill the marks exam title and everything so automatically uh, marks will be filled and this data will be visible in analysis as well if you already declared some results then you can see them as well so this is how exam scheduler is working out all of this you can do through a computer admin panel as well but for uh, easiness we are providing it in mobile app as well in attendance history let's say in your school there are so many teachers they are taking diff different classes so whatever attendance taken by them you can see in attendance history and you can see how many students are present absent in that particular class here there is three dot button so from there you can delete attendance so if there is any mistake happened you can simply remove that attendance so this way you can see the attendance history then there is attendance analysis so for any particular student if you want to see attendance analysis let's say in the month of November what was the attendance of that particular student simply you can see the data let me show you for a student where attendance is already marked so in November Oh, let me check for another student so okay I think there is no data mark for this student audience but that's how you can simply see the attendance history then result analysis so all the exams taken in particular duration so you can see all the exams taken and the result as well simply fee report so all the payments and dues and discounts and all of that reports you can easily generate from here so this way you can understand like uh, what is the status of fee collection going on in your campus your institute so that is how fee reports and all of that happening so now going back to the calendar I wanted to show you the target like uh, assignment or target so this blue is for target go there and you can simply mark mark status so you'll see all the students or the audience to whom this target is assigned complete 
in partially complete not complete simply you can mark that and even you can give rating out of five star so at the end of the month you can see how many targets completed by students and you can generate analysis report of the same so that is how it is working out this purple is for event this blue is for note same way yellow is for homework so different colors are given the same calendar is synced with parents mobile app and parents will receive all the updates relevant to their kid so that is how it is going to work out so this is a dynamic side calendar so this is a mobile app in from the side menu you can do some settings if you have multiple branches you can access those you can access based on year so if you want to see previous year data you can see that as well and you can shortlist with the department wise as well so this is how exactly the mobile app is working out at the upper right corner there is notification bar so any updates or messages or any uh, update uh, communication is happening then it will notify there in the notification bar so thank you so much guys thank you